Actually, like when you talk about a good story, what is what does signify a good story? I think what it does is like when you truly get immersed in it, when you really like mm-hmm. feel for that particular. So, like you said, it can be a belief. It doesn't have to be a story. Story. It doesn't have to be a character. But like when you can truly empathize or you know take that belief or that character in and really understand what it means that's when you know that the story has done its job it's done a really good like it's written well it's told well and um it's very important especially like uh, in movies and other such mediums to be able to do that if not only that like when you're talking to people when when you connect with people you're kind of connecting with them through your own stories with their stories right like you uh, you get to know each other through your uh, like what you've been like what uh, what uh, what has your past been like and that's the way you tell your own story to people and the, uh, that's how i think i have gotten better over the years as well is to learn how to talk about myself uh, with other other people in general because um in like at first i used to be like i've been saying this before as well i I've, i've been a very quiet person but the more i understood how to speak the more i understood how to like talk about myself be comfortable with myself and be able to tell my own story and just through that i was able to connect with people on a deeper level than just being like hi i like this i like that and that's who i am because no, no that is like i just me liking linkin park doesn't make me a a a complete person right i am a deeper person than that and yeah. that comes through my own story right true Yeah you're right you actually you 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 hit the nail on your head on the head because as people i think um, we are nothing but a, a collection of stories right we just we're we stories like when you introduce you, yourself like when i tell people hey i'm z um i love this music band called hammock and and i think some it is a beautiful and i don't think there's anything more amazing in the world than a beach i'm i'm actually you know giving a glimpse into my own life uh, to all exactly, the yeah. right I'm, i'm just because that's all we are right we're just all a collection of stories we're, we're just a bunch of uh, i mean uh, like we can we actually do get a glimpse of what kind of a person you are just through those words right like yeah. you like the beach you like this yeah. Uh, yeah. band called hammock and that means that there there has to be a reason behind it right and why exactly. you came to liking it exactly. and that's the story that led you to to that particular place true. true and that's why that's why we get so invested in these particular things right like because because it it relates to us we can understand the uh, idea behind it and we start like seeing ourselves in that person's place and understanding how we, they reached that particular decision like um a very good example here would be harry potter as you were talking about it before oh god no <laughs> right it's a potter kiss me uh, like honestly like uh, we 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 live with that golden trio yeah. like harry ron and hermione oh uh, god and their sto- their their lives became a part of our lives right we lived vicariously through harry we we went through those adventures with him we uh, became a wizard with him entered the wizarding wizarding world and saw it through his perspective and jk rowling did such a great job just showcasing like A, a newbie or a person who did not have any clue about what magic was what yeah. wizards were uh his parents had passed away so he didn't know anything about his own past he was just stuck in a very bad place uh, with with people that he didn't want to be with and uh just how his world changed completely and became upside down by like you know being taken into this fantastical amazing imaginary place that was the wizarding world and just just the wonder that he had translated so well to us even like uh, as kids yes but even adults at the time you know got really 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 into it and bowed by it because they could understand and relate to that feeling and that's what uh, like jk rowling did so well like she told that story in such an amazing way that people could relate to it no matter what that age right because yeah. they saw themselves be like running away from their reality to going into a world that would be so different and yeah, I, right. i think there was something really beautiful about that there was there was it's just i mean the fact that it's given an entire generation hope i'm sure i mean at least 9 out of 10 readers would have been like i wish i could have gotten my letter from hogwarts and you know 
staying up in the night and I mean I know I was waiting for that letter to drop Oh dude I still am I still I still <laughs> am. like he, like I remember in the first book when before the meal is about to start just Dumbledore just says uh nitwit oddment flubber tweak it's some like that and then Harry looks at George and he's a bit mad isn't he and yeah, George yeah, yeah. Says, yeah. and then there's food on the table there's so much food oh my god <laughs> so much happiness my god the, the, i think that was really 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 amazing and really beautiful